the year of the homecoming, Kilmarnock edition, Mauchlin, Ayrshire the 3rd, April 2009. We the undersigned housing associations in Ayrshire, from the same spot and on the anniversary of myself, Robert Burns, sending my manuscripts of the famous Kilmarnock edition of poems to Kilmarnock publishers, call on government at a local Scottish and UK level to give urgent attention to the housing crisis which is affecting Ayrshire and beyond. We call upon politicians to set aside partisan disagreements and in all Scottish decision-making bodies to work together to help housing associations and local authorities build 10,000 new affordable homes for rent across Scotland this year. I feel very strongly that in this year of homecoming, what better legacy would there be for us in Scotland than to be able to say that we had literally again created a housing revolution. I think um, the campaign that is running to ensure that we have more affordable homes for rent in Scotland is absolutely vital that we get that to succeed. We have argued for an extra 1% in the Scottish budget targeted towards housing. We, within our sector, working with our local authority colleagues, of course, in partnerships, will deliver 100% more homes that are badly needed. New homes will also mean new jobs, particularly in the construction sector, the most depressed sector of the economy. New jobs, the construction jobs, will also give our young people the third opportunity to secure quality apprenticeships and trades that will be vital to their own. Ayrshire's and Scotland's future. Here we are, you know, in the middle of this recession at the moment. So capital projects being brought forward is really important. The stimulus to housing associations by the changes in the grant regime, also very, very important. And I think the onus is on everyone to put differences aside and to work together to make sure that we really can maximise the resources that are there and provide homes for people in Scotland. I think at this stage, when there's a concentration on how we can invest money to deliver the results we want to meet the current economic difficulties we have, then building homes ticks all the boxes. Yeah. It provides jobs for people, it, provi it builds our communities, and it cements in the sort of investment that we're looking for. Well, we are looking at this as actually a living memorial to Jean Armour and it's really the Gene Armour Burns Houses is what it's called. And, uh, 18 months ago we got permission to build a further 10 cottages and it's our objective in the near future to start in, with that exercise. You know, across Ayrshire we've got some 16,000 people on housing waiting lists and with only 300 or so houses being built each year at the moment, to achieve our ambitions to get those 10,000 additional homes, we need to see that doubled in Ayrshire to around 600 houses, new homes every year. If we could double the output in Ayrshire, we know we could house thousands more families. Now, if you multiply that up for the whole of Scotland, we could make a huge difference to Scotland's ability to meet its homelessness targets in 2012, but more importantly, to provide a quality of life for families in Scotland who badly need good quality affordable housing. We believe Robert Burns, myself, would see a call for 10,000 new affordable homes as the ideal way to celebrate my 250th birthday, a permanent living legacy of his homecoming year.